Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a review for the Galaxy S5. So, is this really the best phone out on the market? And a quick answer, I really think it's one of the strongest contenders out there. Now, why do I say that? Well, it has one, a really good feel to it, and it has the best screen on the market. That's actually been proven by DisplayMate, so it's been really impressed of how bright it gets, as well as how dark it gets. Very two extremes, and it allows you to see it in the sunlight and to see it in a movie theater without bothering anyone else. The battery life is really great, but what really makes it amazing is the ultra power saving mode, which really extends your battery life dramatically. On this mode, I was able to get four and a half hours at 7%. That was with a 45 minute conversation with my girlfriend, and it only went down 2% during that call. So it's really impressive how the battery life has come about with that mode. You also have just the best camera out on the market. It really is impressive, and it's been better than any other camera I've ever reviewed, at least to this date. I love the fact that HDR is instant. It makes a lot of the photos different, as well as also the selective focus feature. The fact that I have also smooth motion video recording, which just looks unparalleled to any other device, the video quality is also a top notch. So because of these reasons, the camera really is one of my biggest features that I have to have an amazing camera, and the S5 definitely delivers there as well. Pack that with uh, these kind of results that you get with the camera and it really stands out. So when we take photos, you can really see the difference instead of getting these kind of photos with HDR, instantly you get this kind of photo. You don't have to wait, you don't have to delay or anything like that. It's just instead of this, you get this. It really makes such a difference in your day-to-day -day photos. Not to mention that with selective focus, you can make these really cool profile shots and make you really stand out and really pop every time you see your friend, you take a selective photo uh, of them, and you really come out with a great display. So that's one thing that I've really enjoyed as well and that I've started to do with all of my friends. So how's the audio quality? Well, the audio quality is decent. It's very loud, but as most water-resistant devices uh, come about, you typically don't get uh, the best overall uh, sound quality with them. So it's just one thing that it is a trade-off. And for those of you who need good speakers on there, well, it might not be the best uh, thing out there, but if you typically have a Bluetooth speaker or anything like that, it'll come out really nice. But overall, you still do get a good experience. And some good music. So overall, it really does uh, deliver in a lot of ways. And with the water resistant, it's another th way. Simply for the fact that it's water resistant and it keeps a removable backing. Now we've already seen videos of this actually lasting for up to an hour in a pool and through a washing machine. Heck, we've even seen it drop 10 feet and be perfectly fine. So it really has made an impact of that is plastic really that much of a downside? I don't know if it is. And that's one thing I think that just the marketing teams uh, want you to kind of believe more so. Removable battery and micro SD card is something that honestly, I don't ever want to go without. Even though I'm willing to, it's just nice that it's still there. And I think this is really shown in other manufacturers that have stopped taking that out. We see every manufacturer now that uh, has backpedaled and gone back to micro SD that had left it last year. We saw LG and HTC now on their new devices put back micro SD when last year they had taken it off. It showed customers that people did want it. Also, another great feature that started coming about is this new Samsung Smart Switch app, which lets customers really easily switch to it. So you have import from iCloud where you can bring everything over uh, from your iOS device to the Galaxy, and you can bring everything over from your old Android devices too. Honestly, that's just a genius in marketing for uh, Samsung to do that. It really makes it stand out. Overall, 
it's fast, it doesn't have lag, it really is impressive of how it moves, and it just is a really all around good device. So is this the best out there? Well, as far as I have seen, and as far as I've used, I would say the Galaxy S5 is currently the best phone on the market. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. And if you want to see lots of videos on the Galaxy S5, stay tuned to Ask the Android Guy. And thank you for watching all the videos. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.